Welcome to Axiomaticos. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT Jam 2017. So this is our very first question and this question is from the topic multivariable calculus. So let us have a look on this question what it says. So it is given to us that consider the function fxy. So we have a function like this, right? So fxy is our function where x is between 0 to 2 pi and y belongs to r. The set of critical points of fxy consists of a point of local maxima and a point of local minima. B option says a point of local maxima and settle points and all the options are like that. So you see the whole question talks about the critical point for this given function fxy. So firstly we need to understand what is the meaning what is the meaning of critical point. Okay. So let us write here firstly our function begin from here. So uh, let me change my color for the pen. Okay. Okay. So now what function do we have? We have a function fxy like this, right? 5 minus 4 sin x plus y square. Right. So we have this function. Now x they are saying that x is between this interval, open interval 0 to 2 pi, and y belongs to r. Okay. So now the question talks about the critical point. Okay. So firstly, I will define that. So uh, I am saving saying it. So a function on, okay, I will start like this. A point a comma b is said to be critical point for the given function fxy if del f over del x at a comma b. Okay, I am talking about the two variable function, right? Del f over del y at a comma b is equal to 0. You are getting my point out? So this thing is the definition for the critical point. Critical point. Right. So now we have the definition for the critical point. So now let us start. So we have to talk about the maxima and the minima of the two variable function. Right. So now we have understood the meaning of critical point. Now I will show you a note regarding uh, the maxima and minima for the two variable function okay okay so this is the theorem that i was talking about so let us have a look on this theorem what it suggests us that let fxy have continuous second order partial derivative okay so your function fxy should have this property in some disk centered at critical point a comma b so they are also talking about the critical point and we have already understood the meaning of critical point for a given function fxy of two variable now consider d so d are they are considering uh, this d symbol to be rt minus s square where r is the uh, del 2f over del x2, s is del f over del x del y and t is del 2f over del y2, right? So they are the partial derivatives, okay? You have already, uh, I think you already know this thing. Now what they are saying that if d is greater than 0 and r is also greater than 0, then minima at a comma b. You're getting my point. So this is the test for, uh, for, uh, for checking whether a critical point is minima or not, okay? Now the second one says if d is greater than 0 and r, okay, okay, there is a misprint here. It should be less than 0, okay. So I should change my color for the pen. So this thing should be less than 0. You are getting my point. So if r is less than 0, then this, uh, this will work. You are getting? So... Okay. 
okay so now if d is greater than 0 and r is also if d is greater than 0 and r is less than 0 then maxima at a comma b and third one says if d is less than 0 then f has a settle point at a comma b and fourth one says if d is equal to 0 then no conclusion can be drawn so this is the theorem that we need here okay by just using this theorem we are going to solve this question so now let us proceed what we have uh, we have f x y like this okay so firstly i will determine the critical point for this f so del f over del x okay firstly i am going to calculate this so del f over del x will be minus times of 4 cos of x now let us find out what will be del f over del y del f over del y will be 2y now if you will equate this to 0 then you will get that cos x is 0 right and you know that uh, for which value of x this cos x will be 0 you know that the x should be pi by 2 and also add 3 pi by 2 right now why i am not taking uh, points after this because it is given to you that x belongs to 0 to 2 pi so 5 by 5 pi by 2 is there 7 pi by 2 is there but we are not going to take them you get my point now if you will equate this to 0 you will get what y is equal to 0 so how many critical points do you have you have two critical point and what are those so you got your two critical points pi by 2 comma 0 and 3 pi by 2 comma 0 so these are your yeah, what these are your critical points now in order to check whether these critical points are the point of minima maxima or settle point you need to uh, use this theorem here which i have written so let us start to use this theorem we need to calculate fxx okay that is del fx uh, del 2f over del x2 right so you will get what 4 sin x here now what will be fyy fyy will be uh, what 2 and what will be fxy you have to just differentiate this del f over del y with respect to x then you will get 0 this is r this is s this is t right so rt minus s square what will be rt minus s square so rt minus s square will be 8 sin x you are getting my point or not so this is your d that your theorem talks about right now we have two critical points on on those two critical point we need to check these things so i am calculating your d at which point pi by 2 comma 0 so at pi by 2 comma 0 your d is what your d is 8 why because sine pi by 2 is 1 now at 3 pi by 2 comma 0 your d is minus 8 so this is greater than 0 and this is less than 0 so now since this is less than 0 and using the third point of the theorem here that if d is less than 0 then f has a settle point a at a comma b so i can directly calculate that 3 by by 2 comma 0 is a settle point using that theorem using the third point in the theorem you're getting my point now d is greater than 0 in this case so still we need to calculate what is our r so r is 8 of sin uh, 4 of sin pi by 2 this is your r so this is 4 sin pi by 2 that means it's 4 so it is also greater than 0 so that means what that 3 pi by oh not sorry this is pi by 2 comma 0 is a point of local minima local minima you're getting my point so you got that so that uh, from here what you are concluding that pi by 2 comma 0 is a point of minima and 3 pi by 2 comma 0 is a point of uh, what settle point right so let me use my black pen here again so 
your a option says that uh, a a point of local maxima and a point of local minima the question is saying that critical point will be a point of local maxima so are you getting a point of local maximum no you are not getting point of local maxima b is also incorrect why b is incorrect because you are not getting local maximum here third one says a point of local maxima and a point of local minima it is also incorrect because you are not getting any point like that now the fourth one says a point of local minima and a saddle point so therefore this d must be correct you get my point so this is how you should proceed so if you will solve this question in your exam okay this is a four to five line question only okay while explaining it will take me time but while you were solving this thing you can do this question in just about 2 minutes very important so this is how we should proceed so thank you